A genetic circuit, or synthetic biological circuit is a system built into a genetically modified organism that uses a series of logical functions to perform a complex task. These circuits can be used to perform a variety of life functions. Two common logic, or Boolean functions that are used are the AND gate and OR gate. When we use an AND gate, two functions must be satisfied at the same time for the system to operate. A good example would be having a cell that only begins dividing when it has enough nutrients and there is enough space to divide and grow. If one of these conditions are not met, then the whole process stops. An OR gate is just as easy to understand. If there are two conditions being tested, then only one of them needs to be met before the system can continue. When looking at different types of genetic circuits, the outputs can be split into two main categories. These outputs can be termed as digital and analog. Digital genetic circuits or switches are very simple to use and to understand. The output presented by a digital switch is bimodal, much like a light bulb. A light bulb can be either on or off but nothing in between. Can we please get that light back on? Where a digital output has a bimodal method of production, an analog output presents results on a sliding scale of intensity. With this scale, there are many different levels of output possible, depending on when and how many logical gates are activated. Analog outputs are more commonly presented natural when there is leaky expression of genetic circuits of promoters, are also found and in when nature, there are logic with the gates earliest employed. natural genetic circuit found being the lac operon. The lac operon is a very simple genetic switch, controlling the expression of several genes that are only needed in the presence of lactose. In the absence of lactose, these genes are switched off at the promoter. The lactose genes, when lactose is present in this cell, operon can be these easily genes are then turned on, other parts, allowing the cell to metabolize this and digest lactose. This creates a customizable genetic switch that is very readily modified. This customized genetic switch can then be inserted into a chassis organism, such as E. coli, creating cell factories. A cell factory can be defined as an organism that has been utilized to produce foreign proteins that it would not normally make. So far so good. It seems that we are ready to race ahead with building genetic circuits into organisms, right? Unfortunately, there are still a few limitations that need to be considered before these circuits can be used widely on an industrial level. This means we need to slow down a little bit and think. The first issue is that current genetic circuits and switches that we design are too simple. These circuits may only have one or two programmable functions, which when compared to natural life falls well short of what we really need. Just look at this natural least metabolic circuit. Another issue is the metabolic load and stress cells are put under when they are producing foreign proteins. The maximum cellular energy expenditure of a cell is 10 mole of ATP per second, and if you exceed that, you will impair growth of the cells. In fields such as synthetic biology and metabolic engineering, you want your cells to be as healthy as possible and produce as much product as possible. On a similar note, there are only a limited number of ribosomes and protein folding complexes present in the cell. Just like with metabolic loading and energy expenditure, if the total amount of these cellular machines are used, then the cell factory will not be able to operate at its highest efficiency level. Because of this, it is important to use various promoters and genetic parts of all different strengths so as not to overload the cell at any point in its growth cycle. Effective use of Boolean gates will also help mitigate these issues. By combining logical gates and keeping in mind the energy capacity of the cell, it is possible to design, build, test and then learn from our friendly synthetic organisms.